Hey friends, it's your girl, Lakia Smith, otherwise known as the Cami Fairy Godmother. I'm here to share with you just a few ways I keep students engaged while using Cami in the classroom. So if you're new to Cami, if you're a Cami vet, or if you're Cami curious, sit back, buckle in, and enjoy the ride. So the first thing I wanted to show you is a second grade activity used for fluency and comprehension. Um, I loved doing this because this worksheet actually stems from two different workbooks that the students have. I'm not a fan of workbooks. They're big, they get in the way, you have to find storage for them. They're paper, so if they get wet, they're ruined. Sometimes students accidentally rip out more than one page, so now they're missing a page. It's just too much of a hassle. So what I did was, using the split and merge tool, I found the story for the day and its corresponding worksheets for comprehension and put them together in one neat little package right there at students' fingertips so they have everything at their disposal without having to flip back and forth between workbooks and their story to find the answer. This is all right here. So. First cool thing is the text to speech tool, okay? For my readers who struggle, they can actually highlight their text and Cammy will read it Sir to them. Woke to the sound of doves cooing in his ears. He felt the birds rubbing against his chin. They can also change the speed and the voice of their reader, but as you saw, the text is highlighted as Cammy is reading it to them. I love that because then your students can follow along as it's being read. Then once they read the entire story, they have their comprehension. Now, reflecting on this activity, I realized there was probably an extra step that I could have had my students do, like find their answer in the text and then use Cami to highlight it using the markup tool. They could have highlighted their answer in a specific color. Let's use purple because purple is my favorite. And then they could have marked their answer using purple as well, and then change their color for each corresponding question. So number one could have been purple, number two could be green, number three could be orange, number four could be magenta. All of those colors are here in their palette, and they could have those colors correspond from where they found their evidence to their answer. That was one thing that I didn't think of, but we're perpetual students as educators. So now I know what I will use next time, right? And then there is the text box. So if your students have to respond with an answer, it's kind of difficult to have them write with the stylus in a space like this. So using the text box is their best bet. And they would just click on text box, they would click onto their space and they could type. Obviously that's not the correct answer, so we're not gonna go with that. Another skill I like to practice with Cami is retelling. You know, when your students are retelling a story, they're not supposed to retell the story verbatim. They're only supposed to use the most important details of the story, right? So you can have them retell the story with illustrations and with text only using these six boxes. That's what I tell my students. You only have six boxes to tell me what happened in the story. So you really have to find the most important things. And then you get to draw what happened in the story, which is really cool. Students have a lot of fun using the drawing tool. It's very convenient because they can change the size of their tool. Again, they can change the colors too, and you have all of the colors at your disposal. Rainbow, neons, neutral skin tones, all of them, any color in the rainbow. And so students can use that to, to draw their illustrations that go with the retelling of their story. So this was also a second grade activity, but it can be modified for any grade really, any grade that has retelling as a standard. So this particular activity I created as a graphic organizer using Cami because you can use blank sheets and just create something yourself from scratch. Um, my first graders had to create a true or false game and they had to work together. Now this was this previous year that just passed our COVID year. So some of our students were at home. So 
I told them that they could use the comment tool to communicate with one another. So for instance, if they found an error, like here my friend just put a few extra letters in the word star, his teammate leaves him a message directly on the same line as the error. And once the error is corrected, then the teammate can delete the video. And then me as the teacher, I can go back and see how many videos are still on the side of their graphic organizer. And that can tell me whether or not they still have some things that they need to correct. Like this group of friends right here still has a few things that they need to correct, but that's okay. They are first graders and they did an amazing job with this. But this was a great way for my friends who were at home to still communicate with their friends who were at school and feel like they were a part of the classroom. So this activity is actually a work in progress. I don't know if you're familiar with Cami's Facebook page, but a few months ago, they posted something about live action gameplay using Cami. And of course, it got my teacher wheels turning. My fourth graders are gonna be studying medieval times in the medieval period this year. So I wanted to create a map where they could work with teammates to try to defeat a dragon that is terrorizing their land. So the four different colors obviously represent four different tribes and they all have different activities that will get them tools to help them defeat the dragon. Now, it's a work in progress. I haven't fleshed it out completely, but the cool thing is I can use Cami to insert Google Forms and videos, YouTube content, anything that will help my students find the tools that they need to defeat the dragon. And so that's what I've started here. As you can see, I created a Google form with some questions, obviously pertaining to something that we've covered in class, not just random questions that they have to answer in order to get their first set of tools. So this was just a sneak peek into the possibilities that Cami creates for you. So that's it. I hope you were inspired. There are so many different ways that you can use Cami to change your classroom. And even if you're just using it as a PDF annotation tool, you're still winning. Don't forget to like Cami on Facebook or Instagram, and I'll see you next time.